You ever seen a miniature keyboard that can help you with your taxes? Well, it's also programmable, so stick around and let me show you the Casio VL Tone. Hello, Internet. Chris Klein here with Alma Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. And today we're going to look at Casio's VL Tone. But before we do that, I want to ask that you please subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to check out our other channels, which are bass, accordion, guitar, and piano-centric. Lots of information headed your way. We're working on content all the time. We want to keep you informed, well-versed. We want to have conversations with you. I'm going to stop now with that plug. Let's get to this because it's very, very cool. And it can also help you with your math homework. So here is Casio's famed VL tone. Now I'm going to play you something right now, which some of you out there have probably heard uh, more than once. It's kind of a big single in the 80s. So I'm going to play you this rhythm part. Let's slow it down a little bit. So this is the famed drum part from Trio's single Da Da Da. And this is just one of the many things the VL Tone can do. It can give you the most amazing, robust drum sounds you've ever heard in your whole entire life. In fact, this could be your only drum machine. The only drum machine you will ever need for the rest of your life. Just kidding. So, this is also a calculator and a fully programmable synthesizer. Now, we're not going to get into the programming of this because it's really not a whole lot of fun to watch. Just know that it can be done, and you can get some pretty cool sounds out of it. But right out of the gate, we have five sounds. We have piano, we have fantasy, violin, flute, guitar, and then ADSR is actually a patch that you create on your own. And this is actually a patch that I made earlier today um, on this little synth. Now, as you can see, the keys are very, very small. You're not gonna be doing any sort of like Rick Wakeman or Jeff Downs soloing on here. Um, but if you're looking for fun sounds, this can maybe provide that for you. It is monophonic. There is a speaker built into it, so you can you know mess around with it and do your own thing. There's a little one key play, so you can actually create a little sequence and then just play using these keys right here. Which is also kind of handy. Maybe you're trying to do some sort of arpeggiating thing, and since there's no arpeggio, well, you program it in, and then you just tap it out based off of the tempo on whatever it is that you're working, or you just go crazy with it, right? And we can change our octave as well. Let's go back to the fantasy sound, which is one of my favorite sounds on here. Now, again, you're not going to be doing lightning fast solos on here. Maybe you'll program in some sort of like, you know, uh, bass line to go along with whatever you have programmed in your DAW or uh, with your uh, external sequencers, whatever you might be using. Um, but what I want to do is demonstrate this with the help of some pedals once again, because pedals can take this to a different space, different dimension, and just change the feeling of, the, of this little keyboard altogether. So for instance, if we use the Dem Dash T120, let me go ahead and turn it on. This is such a fun pedal. And if I turn the mix all the way up to where we're only hearing the output of the pedal or the effect, And we can change the tape quality. Now we can also change the, the pitch by manipulating the depth and the speed.
Now it's starting to sound like a broken tape machine with very degraded tape. The oxide has almost been worn off. So if you're a pedal junkie and you also like having weird devices, well, you know, the VL tone going through something like the Dem Dash or the Ghost Echo or the Astral Destiny is going to take this to much more exciting places. Let's listen to the Astral Destiny. Now you can really hear it shimmer. You're getting that, you know, that brine, you know, type of effect. And by manipulating the depth and the rate, we can really get it to detune. Let's turn on our delay. Ghost Echo. And the dwell up. And the depth up. Depth and dwell up, you can really hear it lingering on, which is a lot of fun. And I'm just playing random notes now. So very powerful when you start incorporating pedals into the mix. The Astral Destiny really takes it to some fun, fun places. Sub shimmer is quite nice. So there's the VL tone, and once more we do have our rhythms.
And there you have it, fun with Casio's VL tone and some stomp boxes. And once again, this is also a calculator. So I hope you enjoyed our journey with Casio's VL tone. Uh, maybe, you know, once again, you heard some sounds that were familiar, especially with the rhythm patterns, you know, trio, da, 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 and other people have used this throughout the years. Vince Clark from Yaz, Depeche Mode, Erasure, and uh, other uh, visionaries, luminaries in the synth and uh, keyboard world. Uh, it's just a fun little device. Is it super practical? Probably not. The keys are small. They're like tinier than chiclets, you know, as I was saying. Uh, but it's just a fun, fun little device. And, you know, we ran it through pedals to open up the, 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 its flavor a little bit more to see you can get more out of it. It's monophonic, you know, it's limited in so many ways. So, you, have, you know, of course you can get uh, an OP1, which is not much bigger, and that's going to do a gazillion things that this can't do. Um, but it's still a lot of fun. It's a cool piece of history. I'm glad that I have it. You know, they fluctuate in price, and I've seen them go as high as $120, which is absolutely insane considering what it, it can do or can't do. But again, it's just for fun, and you never know what kind of sounds you might need within a production, and that's why I have all these you know, weird little gadgets that I, that I keep in my arsenal at home. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up the discussion. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Let's keep it civil. Let's be kind to each other. We need more kindness in the world today. I know you probably hear me say that at the end of every video, but gosh, it's so true. Um, and let's keep on producing and creating content and talking about you know, why we love these things or why we don't love them for that matter. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some of those comments down below as well. Um, and uh, that's it for the Casio VL Tone. Until next time, once again, I'm Chris Klein with Alma Music Center in San Antonio. Uh, be kind, keep on creating, and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you again. Bye-bye.